Uh oh, Jamel Hill. Oh, okay. So she says, Look at this woman. So look at this. It's very interesting. Look, this is the woman that stabbed up all those people at the airport. And look at Jamel Hill in the comment section. Whatever they say she did, she did that shit. Oh, so it's cool for you to, it's cool for her to, to say a black person did. You see what I'm saying? Oh, so you can get in the shade room comment section and say whatever she did, she say. She, but if somebody else say a black person did something, you're going to try to ruin their career. When another black person says, when another black person that's on the right or a white person says something, a black person did something, she goes scorched earth and tries to ruin their career. Oh, but you can just say, <laughs> well, I'm offended, Jamel. You're a fucking coon for saying that. You're a fucking sellout for saying that. And I'm going to call your job and try to get you fired. Oh, yeah, you don't have a job. But if you still had a job, I would call your job and try to get you fucking fired. This woman is a black queen. This woman is a black queen. And she had mental health issues. And you talking about her because she's got she's struggling with mental health. When white people struggle with mental health, uh they get um spa days and taking the uh Disneyland and first class trips and 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 people and, and they get free money from the government when they got mental health issues or what or whatever the fuck bullshit you would say. This is jacked up, Jamel. This sister, this sister don't deserve you talking about claiming her. She she hasn't even gotten a trial. And Jamel Hill is on here saying, whatever they say she did, she did that shit. Think about this, man. She doesn't tolerate, you can't even, you, a black person could have fucking literally you could have been one of the people she stabbed. And if you were white, Jamel Hill would be parsing through your comment or your, if, they, if a white person got stabbed by this woman, it was like, hey, man, um, it didn't feel really good. Jamel Hill would be on Twitter talking about some, White people are so fragile. They're always talking about their feelings. What about the feeling of the woman? Mass incarceration and redlining led her to stabbing all those people. Damn, Jamel, you a fraud, man. I ain't even, man. That's crazy. That's crazy. This woman is suffering from post-traumatic slave syndrome. Post-traumatic slave syndrome. She's suffering from the legacy of Jim Crow and medical racism made it so she couldn't get her her mental health needs um taken care of like white people do a hundred percent of the time and for you to say something like that jamel hill we got to take you to task that shit ain't right man because if a coon or a buck dancer like me or a sellout Somebody else would have said this, man. You would be all over them, man. Mm, mm, mm. 
Mm-hmm. I mean, the NFL was race norming up until a few years ago, okay, mm-hmm. where they actively had policy that stated that black brains and black bodies were not worth as much as white bodies. That was literally policy, mm-hmm. okay? So what he said about the league is true. What do you mean policy? Uh, so race norming, mm-hmm. um, this is one of the things that they use when it came to settling some of the head trauma lawsuits. They basically, what was part of this, um, what was part of the NFL practice is that they pretty much said that black players and everybody can look it up. You can go to Google, just look up NFL and race norming. This is all there is one of the more undercover stories about them that they pretty much said they came up with a calculation where um, the head trauma that black uh, athletes suffered in the league because they said there were certain cognitive abilities that were not there inherently race norming like race norming has been used in a lot of different medical fields frankly to justify Mm -hmm. um medical racism on us and the nfl was using the same practice so if y'all look it up you will see and they had they stopped doing it i believe in either 2015 or 2016 it's why um some of the black players didn't receive as much money from the concussion lawsuit as some of the white players did because they had race norming as part of the formula to figure out who deserved what that is the NFL. So That's again, crazy. like I said, wow. he was telling the truth. And unfortunately, a lot of the systems that we are a part of have practiced in something, something yeah. distasteful, dishonorable, something that excluded us. And part of our fight is that because we built this country and because we're going to make <laughs> America um, live up to that brochure they all told to us. Great again. I was like, come no, on. No, oh God, no. You know I'm not gonna say that. You know I'm not gonna what? say that. <laughs> no, nah, but, but I mean, black people, frankly, I mean, this is something that Cole Hannah Jones has talked about a lot. It's like we are the ones holding this damn democracy together That's because right. we are believing in we the believe principle. Because yeah. we actually believe in it, and we gonna make. I can't do any more of that, but um, <clears throat> this thing she talking about race norming, man. This thing she talking about race norming, man. <laughs> race norming is actually um, done all across. The, it's done with your SATs. It's done with your SAT scores, Jamel. That's why blacks get 350 points on SAT. So you, that's why they give you 350 points on your SAT. In the college admissions, um, when it comes to college admissions, they give black people 350 points on SATs. 350 points. Race Norman in the NFL, a change to the NFL concussion settlement that eliminates artificially adjusting black retirees' cognitive scores to assume they start with a lower cognitive baseline than white retirees. So to determine how much the impact of all those head, all those um, hits to the head, decrease someone's cognitive skills they test you they give you a test when you retire like okay here's a test to see how smart you are wow how good at how good your brain's working but the but but since black people have low iqs which is like it, it is what it is, man. I probably got a lower IQ than the average person, average person from another race. Who knows? I probably do. If the testing is, if the if the if the data is right, it is what it is. And I've done a lot of stupid shit in my life, so I probably probably do. So they say, hey, man, black people are already not as smart as other people. So 
at the end of their career, man, when we test them to see how much the effects of playing football has diminished their brain capacity. We got to use a lower score for them. So, like, it, we, it, it basically, base, what it basically did was a lot of black players, they were like, hey, man, ain't nothing wrong with you. You normal, man. Your score is normal for a black person, man. Ain't nothing wrong with you, man. And the white guys that, that, that had brain injuries, they was like, oh, yeah, you supposed to be up here. Your, your, your intelligence is supposed to be here, but it's here? Oh, yeah. You you got hit in the head too many times, man. But the black dudes, they was like, well, oh, yeah, well, that's that's, how, that's about right. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with you, man. No, it's not that the blunt hits to the skull don't affect them. It's that because they say that at when they, like the black IQ is is lower than all of the other races, not just white people. So let's get that straight. Because black people like to pin everything on white people. Blacks score lower than Hispanics, Asians, Native Americans, everybody. Filipinos, Samoans, everybody. They, we score lower than everybody on the SAT score. Um, and on, I mean, the IQ test. So it's not just white people. And white people don't have the highest IQs. They actually have the third highest IQs. But whatever, man. The NFL is mostly made up of black and white players. So, um, when they test to see how much your cogn your cognitive skills have diminished over your playing career. So when they take the test, when black players take the test after they retire. Whether they've diminished or not, it's like, well, that's what you're supposed to score. That's where your IQ is supposed to be at. Because you're black. But when a white person takes the test, if they're, you can tell, you can see the difference because their IQs are, are higher, according to the data, not according to me, according to the data. You can see the, 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 you can see the drop off. Whereas with blacks, you can't see the drop off because the IQs already start already are lower to start with, and it and it um hurt a lot of black players getting settlements from the league for um concussions and stuff like that. Yeah, you got to get rid of tested. It, Black people, you know, it is what it is, man. All this stuff is what it is, man. To try to make it seem like some big fucking deal, man. Everybody knows this stuff. It is what it is. It is what it is, man. It is what it is. It is what it is, man. Everything, everything, wonderful, wonderful. We're going to do an update on this one, man. We do an update 